and welcome to the last day of Vlogtober. So yes, it's the 31st today, so happy Hall Halloween everybody. Um, the weather, I'm going to say the weather here has been really bad. Um, ever so windy and it's been raining all, all morning. <clears throat> uh, it's now roughly about well, just before dinner time it is and the sun's starting to come out. <laughs> but Kevin said to me yesterday, oh, the weather's forecast bad today. <clears throat> so I thought, well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm stopping here. <laughs> but unfortunately, I didn't sleep last night. So we didn't go to bed till about half one. And I was just nodding off to sleep when Charlie, who decided he wanted to stop in our bedroom last night, changed his mind and wanted to leave. So we were meowing at the door which disturbed me and Kevin spoke to me and um, that was it, I was awake <laughs> so I got up, I tossed and turned in bed for ages, got up at five o'clock and that's about it really, I've been up ever since so I am pretty tired and I thought oh I'll go and have a sleep this afternoon but then I think no if I do that I won't sleep tonight so I'm just gonna have to suffer it today um, so I'm not really sewing today, I don't think. <clears throat> uh, well, I've got no wadding, so I can't actually make any bags up. So I've got fabric cut out and I can't do anything for this. Uh, but you never know, I might change my mind. <clears throat> but I can't see it. I, I think I still want to have a bit of a knitting day today. Catch up on a bit of knitting because I haven't done any for a while. So I would like to do that. So I'm just enjoying a nice cup of Yorkshire tea. I might have to have uh, a couple of frothy coffees, I think, a bit later on just to keep me awake because I can see I will settle down, do some knitting, uh, the heating's on because it's, it's a bit chilly and I'll be <laughs> dropping off to sleep. Yeah. I don't know. Well, <clears throat> As I was as I'd be up first, I was sat in the front room where Salem and Brown Bull are sleeping in the pen and they're covered up, I'll cover them up at night just to, to you know, keep them in the dark and make sure they're not in a draft. <clears throat> Anyhow, while I was downstairs, I was editing yesterday's vlog. So I thought, well, I'm not going to put the big light on or anything. So I've got a little lamp where I'm, I sit. Uh, and it's very bright and you can dim it <clears throat> so I dimmed it down as low as I could and turned it away so it wouldn't disturb them and you know they, they slept through everything put my headphones on and just edited yesterday's vlog and <laughs> if otherwise it, I probably wouldn't have been up by now if I hadn't have done that so yes I did that and I was just watching some bits of YouTube that, and that was about it really nothing I wasn't watching anybody I follow because I like to be able to sit and watch them and concentrate but I couldn't concentrate because I was tired. <laughs> um, and then just basically let the kittens out to play because they tend to come out and have a play and eat when they're ready. But um, they're, they're not too bad in the south. They're out and playing. They're running around like crazy again so that's a good sign. Um, Bramble's still doing a few sneezes but it's only it's not as often as it was which is good her eyes are looking a lot better and I reckon that's down to the antibiotics because as you know she's having them twice a day uh, and Salem his eyes don't look too bad neither so that's good so fingers crossed we're you know we're on the mend the only issue we have is the eating. Um, I put some cat food out for them this morning on a plate. Wouldn't touch it. So I, I, I do think the sense of smell is not there. Because uh, Kevin got a tin of, um, I'll say special cat food from the vets for Bramble. Uh, what was it? Re it was called replenishment or something. And it is quite strong and smelly. Uh, and she did eat it to start with, but then she's, she's not so keen on it now. So I don't know. 
But we've tried them with all kinds of different things to eat and some work and some don't. And what works is going to cost me a fortune. <laughs> I'll never have any money. <clears throat> We're on mackerel in sunflower oil out of a tin, freshly cooked chicken, pink salmon, red salmon, and they'll eat that. I mean, they're not eating as much as they were before. <clears throat> it's only a small amount, but at least, and they're having kitten milk, at least they're having something. So that is good. So, yeah, things are looking up. I just hope they continue on the up. So at the minute, they are fast asleep because they've been running around like crazy today, I tell you. They haven't been like this for a while. <laughs> it's nice to see them playing, but uh, there's a bit of um, biting going on there at the minute, which is not good. So yeah, they're having a, a, a nap, separated. <laughs> but thank you for everybody who's left me messages and asked me questions on the kittens and everything. I will definitely reply. I've got to do something to keep you awake today. So I will definitely get back to everybody. But yeah, yeah, they're not doing too bad at the minute. So fingers crossed we're, we're on, the, oh, <coughs> on the mend, I hope. Yeah, oh, thank you for all the comments about my hair. <laughs> I've got used to it, I think, now, because I'm not used to having it so flat. You know, I like a little bit of poof in my hair. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I know the other day when I went to Tesco's, <clears throat> I got myself a Christmas novel, which I am going to actually put this away and probably start reading it, I think, beginning of December. I'm going to keep it till then. So yes, it's called, it's One More Christmas, no, One More For Christmas by Sarah Morgan. So I have read her book. And I got this from Tesco, and on the back of the book it says seven ninety nine. Now in Tesco they were selling them for four pound fifty, but if you bought a Daily Mail for seventy p, you could have the book for two pound fifty. So I bought a Daily Mail and got the book for two pound fifty, and it looks nice. Um, basically, it's about. Um, a highly successful and motivated businesswoman, this is the mother, um, but success comes at a price. Um, and she hasn't spoken to her two daughters for years, <clears throat> but then one of the daughters has an accident. So she decides to invite herself to their Christmas in the Scottish Highlands. So I, I like these books when they're based in the Scottish Highlands. Um, so obviously the sisters aren't too pleased that she's uh, wanting to get back into their lives but obviously something happens um yeah so obviously they need the mother so obviously everything will be okay in the end by the sound of it so they're having a family christmas together and they're having to face up to some home truths but yeah it's all on the back there so it sounds like a nice book so i'm looking forward to starting this because I've finished all my murder mysteries that I've got. I mean, I could just buy some more books off Amazon, but to be honest, I'm, I'm just waiting until they're on Kindle because I don't have anywhere now to keep novels. And something like this, I will pass that on to somebody, to my friend, probably next year, unless she buys it this year. But yeah, I'll just pass them on. Um, but like I said, I don't, I, don't, I don't keep novels now because I just don't have the space for them. And all the books that I do like are not on Kindle at the minute. So I feel like I'm several novels behind, which is a bit annoying. It's a bit frustrating really, but never mind. Uh, well, I hope everybody has a nice day today. Um, yeah, have a good Saturday everyone. Um, I've got to go and do a little bit of baking. I've got to go and bake some buns for the grandchildren. Everything else is done. <laughs> the town's done everything. I've just got to bake the buns now. Well, we tested the cheesecake this morning. It's really nice. 
Adela always makes a good cheesecake. I must admit, it's got um, it's just like a basic cheesecake, and it's got oat biscuits for its base, and she's put a caramel sauce on, and it's really, really nice. It's really nice. <laughs> so two pieces is poop. Two pieces. Um, Kevin took up for his mum, up for their house, and we'll probably send a couple of pieces round to. Um, my sons, <laughs> see as the grandkids are getting all the sort of sweet treats, biscuits and that. <clears throat> and as you'll have seen, well no, what I'll do is I'll put the clip in now of Adele and her mummy that she's made. the kids will absolutely love that so Adele has done less layers a lot less layers this time and a lot less glue and the mummy's got weak points so they should be able to bash it <laughs> and get the sweets out so I think they'll enjoy that so yeah so right well I'm going to go and get on with the rest of my day now and if I uh, manage to get any filming done I will pop it in but like I say I'm planning on having a quiet day today knitting I have I have set the TV to record lots of um of the old horror films I've got the mummy with Peter Cushing I think it is and I've got an old Dracula is it nine I don't know what year it is the Dracula one but it's is it Bella Luigi or something I haven't seen one of them for years, but I don't like all the scary, scary ones. But yeah, and what else have I got? There's a Halloween one, and of oh, the Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. I've got that one. I haven't seen Hocus Pocus advertised for today, so I was hoping that might that might be on the TV. But if not, I'm gonna have to find my DVD out and <laughs> sit and watch that tonight. So uh, yes, oh, and I'll be watching Strictly tonight, so I hope anybody else who's going to be watching it sort of enjoys it, because it, it must be, it'll be the Halloween one, won't it, tonight, yeah. So that will be good, looking forward to that. Uh, yes, yeah, so and that's basically going to be my Saturday, unless I fall asleep on the Saturday this afternoon, which is quite possible. <laughs> Anyhow. Have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, and hopefully I will catch you a little bit later on. <laughs> Just pop on briefly and say thank you for joining me this month. I've really enjoyed doing Vogtober and I'd love reading all your lovely comments that you've left me this month. And yeah, I'll be back to normal weekly vlogging again. And the podcast will be coming in the next couple of days. So I hope everybody has a lovely evening. I've been trying to do a bit of soft knitting, but I keep falling to sleep. <laughs> so I think an early night is in store for me tonight. I'm just starting to settle down now and waiting for Strictly to come on. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>